Hi guys and welcome to another video on how to work in series. There is so many ways you can work in series and if you are looking for more of those kind of videos I will link um, uh, put a link in the description box below for the playlist. Today I wanted to try to work more freely and more wild in my first layers. So I have taped nine pieces of 200 GSM watercolor paper together. Each piece is 12 by 12 centimeters and I have taped them on the back side. I recently bought a, a whole package on a sale of these papers here. I haven't worked on, on them before, so I really don't know how they are to work on. Um, I'm not doing watercolor on them, but I'm putting acrylic paint and collage on them. The reason why I taped them together is I want to work at this as one big piece to a certain point and then I will divide them up in nine pieces and um, finish them up one by one. I think this will give the nine pieces the same feeling and a cohesion. But um, let's dive into it. To take the fear away from this big white blank space I have three things I want to doodle with. An ordinary pencil and the china marker. And this one is not water soluble. And I have this graphite stick who is water soluble. So I will just keep my hand at the end here and make some loose marks, not thinking at all what I'm doing, but just go all over the place with a pencil. Then I will take the china marker and perhaps use it for some heavier marks. Yeah, and at last I have this one. You have to dip it in water and then it will make some nice dark marks and this will smear when it gets wet again so this is all for now I will let this dry since it's fall here in Denmark I have chosen my favorite colors again the rust golden earth tones and all the colors I have chosen is more or less translucent. You can see it here there's a three three tick marks and then there's a paint over and when you can see the tick marks it's because the paint is translucent. I like to see the layers beneath the paint and instead of painting with a brush I have decided to put paint on my small jelly plate and place it different places here on the substrate and uh, I think I will start with the lightest color first And I won't put a big amount of paint on because I, I want to keep it translucent. And then I have a roll off sheet here beside. And my jelly plate is sitting on an acrylic plate so I can easily turn it around. So I will just 
place it and I I have a substrate here that it doesn't matter if it, if it gets dirty so I will go a little over the edges so I'm sure that I don't get any white borders now it's a big question if I can get this off yeah there is white borders there. What we can do something about it later. So again, let's see. It slides a little around. It is also always the big question, not about how much paint or how little paint you have to put on the plate, but um, yeah. In this case, I'd rather put too little paint on than too much paint. I will continue covering the whole sheet and be back. I think this is dry now and we can work further on it. And again, my rolled off sheet, don't throw them away. They are nice for making collages. My thought, I, and I think it is, it is pretty wild and I like it. My thought was I have some um, tissue paper or deli paper with black marks on them and my thought was to take some small bits and pieces of them and put them into the collage or into the big piece here and perhaps I won't go over the the edges there because I think I will get in trouble when I divide them but we will see I will uh, fiddle a little around. I can show you how I will glue them on I have here some uh, matte medium I hope this the white paper will get translucent also and uh, I won't be able to see anything else but, but the black marks, yeah, not totally translucent, but enough to give it a little extra here. So let us see. Perhaps it is a good thing to use the same paper in all the pieces. But I don't know yet. Th this is really playtime and fiddling around with where you you want to put your your extra piece. Yeah, and I think this one would look good here. So again, I <coughs> sorry, take my matte medium. I put a. layer on here and then put the tissue on and give it a brush with a matte medium again and brush them from the middle and out to be sure to get the bubbles out of the paper but I think you get the the meaning of it but I will continue on this piece and be back this is the last piece I will glue on here Don't be precious with the matte medium. You have to have a certain amount to get it down and get it as translucent as it can get. So yes, uh, I put a 
tick them up here so maybe you can see. But uh, I will let them dry and we will go to the next step. Now the piece is dry and uh, when <clears throat> I look at it, I think it could need some white marks and some minor black marks. But I will start with the white ones and I will use my jelly plate as a palette. I have a sink white here and I think it is a little translucent, but we will see if that works. And I will roll it out here on my plate. I don't know if you can see it, but here. And I have a small piece of bubble wrap. I will Yeah, and perhaps I could get this to give it yeah, a light impression in some of the darker places. Uh, it doesn't give much, but a little is also okay. I think I will try to use. Uh, ordinary white paint but just a moment I'll try with a, a white paint who's not translucent let's see if that is better yeah that's a little better I don't want to put it all over, but just some few places. Perhaps up there. Yeah, I think that is it. Enough of that. And I also have this. I will just let it dry. Then I have some corrugated cardboard. I I think I would try to make some black stripes. Let's see if that can give a piece. Yeah. A little bit extra. I think I will stop now and divide the pieces and see what's up and down and if it needs more. This isn't the easiest thing to take the masking tape off. I've just uh, heated it with my craft gun and still it rips the paper. But luckily it's the back side so it doesn't matter that much. It, is, uh, it doesn't look that, that nice, but uh, it's, yeah. Ooh, it is so sticky. So I am not the most patient person doing this. So here it is. And what did the last one? And I will just check and find it. Oh, here it was. So I will turn the lower and see how they look. And as you can see, they all fit 
nice little together. But um, I will start from an end. Look at each one differently uh, and see what to do with it. And uh, I think I will start with this one. The first thing I do is turn it around to find the best way or the way I like most. And I think I like it this way better because of the dark stripe down here. Um, it grounded it, grounds it. So I will do this so I know that's what I have decided. And I think it, it works quite well this way. Do I want to do anything further on it? I really don't know. I have a gold pen here. Perhaps we can give it a little something extra. But else I, I don't think of it needs any more. Sorry I wasn't better prepared but I have fetched all my pens and markers here, some black and white and gold and copper and different sizes of nibs. So um, I have put some small black marks here and uh, Again, I will turn it around, but I already know, I think I like it better, the better this way, that the best way is this way, with this peak pointing down. And as far as I remember, I made the papers, it was sitting this way on the big sheet, but I like it this way. Uh, so. It's just making small dots here on this one. Yeah, and again, an arrow here so I can see the way I want it. Yeah, and I will take the next one and look at that. Again, I will turn it around in different ways. And I think I like it this way. Uh, when I look at this mark here, I think I will highlight this with my black pen here. Because there's a big black mark up here and that big black thing here. And I like things in, in tree. Uh, perhaps we can... There's a, like a horizon line here, maybe. Oh, that was a bird hitting my window. This one is so. Yeah, yeah, it goes. Okay, so perhaps we can just. Put it a little here this way. Not a strong black mark, but just a little extra here. Yeah. And I think this one is okay too. So we'll put a arrow on here. And there's this one. Like I can I think it was this way on the Original big one. Uh, 
If I put it this way, this looks like an eye to me, and I don't like that uh, association with an eye. So uh, it has to go this way or this way, and I think I like it the way it was. Yeah. And again, I think I will highlight this. this here and this here. Yeah. And again, so we can do some small round here into the yellow, so you don't. Think about it as an eye. Yeah, it isn't much I'm doing here at the last uh, step because I think they are pretty not overloaded, but there, there is a lot of things happening here. So it's just the that little extra thing, and I think this is done. Yeah. I will do one more, and uh, the rest of camera. Uh, so it's it isn't that exciting, perhaps to see. Yeah, it could go this way, and it could go this way, Just this way. I think I like it this way better. And again, perhaps I think I will highlight this mark here a little more, even though I know it was under. Give it a little more definition. Perhaps we could do a little something in this uh, here. Yeah. I think this is fine too. Again. Yeah, it's sticky here on the back side, but that will hopefully, hopefully disappear. I will make the rest of the ones of, of camera and I will show them all to you afterwards. I think I wanted to show you this one too because it is, um, yeah, this mark is sitting plop in the middle and I really don't like that but that's just my opinion but this mark was made with this graphite hello here stick here so I extended it out this way so now it doesn't feel like it's sitting plop in the middle and um, this would dry uh, quickly and I wanted it to turn this way, but I think I will make some small uh, crosses up here because this is a like X's, uh, because this has this form. And I will make them totally random and nearly upon each other. So it would look more like a pattern than like like crosses. Uh, again, I think I will highlight this line here to so give it a little. Oh. Yeah, that was better. And the white marks up there isn't so so clear. So let us see if we can get, get this one going. Yeah.
don't use your this is a uniball signal don't use them on wet paint they you will kill them and i have ruined so many of them this way so take care yeah this was a little better yeah this was the last one i will make some close-up photos and show them all to you so here they are done all the nine of them before i show them to you i would say of course you can scale this up you can choose much bigger pieces and glue them together they don't have to be square pieces they can be rectangle pieces it's totally up to you and this these pieces are quite small but it is easier to show when you are filming instead of having big sheets so um, and that can easily be happening too much in the in those small pieces here but this was the one with the, the cross i i don't know if i like it uh, quite as much as the other but we will see this one here i highlighted this one oval shape here and the white ones and make some lines here and this one i extended the lines that i was lying there out in the yellow here and make some lines here and here and that little bow no not a bow a bow is another thing a scallop or a, yeah i don't know what it's called scallop shape this is again a big blob but luckily it is not long in the middle but this way out here to the side it wasn't that black before but i painted it black and extended this little strip here and what did i do more i make this black line down here yeah and this one you saw me doing and this one also this one also and you could say what to do with these yeah you could put them in your drawer and say that was a lesson uh, I learned something here but I have thought about perhaps it could be nice to pick if you like all nine of them you can glue them down on a um, canvas or a, a board of something a cradle board of something um, but I know there's one of them I don't want in in this here so I have a um, big sheet of uh, you can't see the size here but uh, 30 times 40 centimeter heavy cuts like watercolor paper and i think i will try to lay them up th there and then i could glue them down and then i would have something i could frame afterwards but i will um, stop here and lift my camera and you can see how i will try to lay the make the layout with these yeah there could only be six in here and that that uh, doesn't matter because i'm not very keen on this one with the eye thing on and this one i don't like either and this much i don't think would work that well too so i think this this six here will look nice together and that's fine six out of of nine is good of course you can work further on them and do uh, other things to them and perhaps they will end up quite okay but this here is uh, fine with me and then you can glue them down and, and frame them that was one way of showing them you can also choose to use all nine of them and see what happens I think the ones I left out was uh, 
perhaps they're a little darker but that's why perhaps I don't think of them as as well but yeah let's see this was the wrong way yeah But that's that's also a possibility to put them this way. You can't see them all, but I think you can imagine. So, yeah, I think it is a, a great way to work, and I I really like the beginning where you loosen up and get free and just put a lot of things down and see what happens. So give it a try yourself and. Uh, Bye for now and take care. Until next time. Bye bye.